Hello friends, we will review today the book Refactoring by Martin Fowler. Hello friends, uh, my name is Vikas Kerni. I have more than 20 years of experience in IT industry. I am TOGAF certified architect. Do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates. Today we'll be reviewing Refactoring by Martin Fowler book. Couple of years back, I was given Best Performance Award by my CEO and uh, VP of Technology was standing next to her. So she said, the Best Performance Awards goes to Vikas for refactoring. She looked towards to the VP of Technology. What is this refactoring? So VP, VP of Technology said, I don't know. I need to talk to Vikas to find out what this refactoring means. So refactoring means changing the internal structure of the application without changing the behavior of the application. So you can see I may have a little bit bias opinion on this book and refactoring technique. Refactoring technique is a industry non technique for improving the quality of the code. So why we need refactoring? Refactoring that Martin Fowler goes into why we need refactoring. Refactoring increases the quality. Uh, refactoring ha in improves the design of the software. Some of the best design so design software design some of the best design patterns I applied during refactoring because when you are coding, you don't know the big picture. When you are done with the coding. Then you see the big picture. So I'll come to that. No, I'll come to the next point when you should refactor. That's what you can during review. Keep some time for refactoring. Generally, we keep one hour for refactoring and it's just a ceremony. We don't, don't say anything to the guy who are whose code we are refactoring so that he is, he is nice to us. But refactoring is a good way of exchanging good ideas, asking questions, can we make it better and make sure keep some time for refactoring the code. And uh, when you are writing new functions, uh, that's a good time. When you're fixing bugs, C means uh, can you fix, make it the code little better without breaking something else kind of. The next question goes, Martin Fowler goes, do you take your manager permission to refactoring? Generally, man means managers, if you say you're going to make the quality better, they're going to say, oh, that's nice, quality would be better. But they are focused on delivery. They are focused on unnecess creating unnecessary bugs. So if you're modding function, modifying functions, Martin Fowler idea is, do you need to tell, you know? This is your professional. You, you you have to make your software better. So so we have discussed uh, we have discussed why we need refactoring. What are the advantages of refactoring? So what are the as we uh, as we see the code becomes smelly over the time. So what are the three big smells uh, which I have seen my code which I inherited and sometimes I can I I can be accused of those crimes. So first uh, smell is the code was so long 10,000 there was a function with 2,000 lines of code. There are classes 10,000 lines of code. So that's a huge smell. Then uh, second smell is there were function which was taking 25 parameters again and again and again 25 parameters my my head i got a headache looking at the code and again i may have coded some point of time like that the the third bad smell i have seen is uh, we are we thought function does something and by the time we coded it did something so a lot of what are the common refactorings uh, we can learn from this book. 
so some of the refactoring extracting method renaming function has become most of the tools i if i think java or dot net technology and uh, most of the these uh, most of these tools give you uh, this kind of refactoring where you can where you can uh, rename the function rename the class rename the package move classes to different namespaces you can package your package and mod modularize your components more easily so th those kind of refactoring is very common i would not go into that common refactoring one refactoring i like is extract a class so especially the one class you had where you have 10000 lines of code there's a printing functionality there's a excel functionality you wish you could extract the classes so i'm a big fan of jetbrains resharper tool uh, i did try i need to try their function uh, that they they give that functionality uh, two years back i i need to try it again hopefully it's very very mature now so that, that that's the reason uh, if i if i have to use resharper over visual studio uh, refactoring i will use the resharper uh, resharper refactoring so an another smell i see a lot of is like a uh, lot of parameters so if uh, i think most of most of resharper definitely gave you a functionality where you can extract the parameters and create a class out of these parameters and another thing is a lot of time you, you uh, lot of time your functions are doing too much so if you can move to param make it uh, some local variables you can move as a parameter to the function that will help to make your function more general purpose so it's a great book uh, i'll highly recommend it even if you are doing some refactoring uh, this is, i have older version i uh, hopefully newer version is modified martin fowler also keeps a website where he lists all the refactoring he's are constantly updating so highly highly recommended i would give 5 out of the 5 it's very easy to read and uh, especially if you have some very very messy code and you have no idea to do, to you have no idea what to do so do read this book uh, okay so my name is vikas kerni i have more than 20 years of experience in it industry i am togas certified architect Do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates. Thank thank you for your time.